Hello and welcome to today's reflection on a memorable verse from the Bible. As we come to meet in God's presence, to meet through God's word, let's just take a moment to still ourselves, to let go of all that we have been doing and all that we still have to do, to just come and rest in God's presence and open ourselves to his spirit today. The verse we're looking at today is Matthew chapter 18, verse 20, and I'm reading it from the New Revised Standard Version. For where two or three are gathered in my name, I am there among them. I hope you've ever done a quiz round where you have to identify whether certain phrases that we use in common everyday language have their origins either in the Bible or in Shakespeare. It's quite a good fun round if you're putting together a quiz. Now today's verse I think is one of those um, expressions, at least the first part, that we tend to use in everyday language without thinking about where it comes from. It's often quoted, where two or three are gathered, we say to console ourselves when hardly anyone has turned up for a meeting or event. And we do it in church too. I regularly remember saying, oh, where two or three are gathered when only me and the organist and the cats have turned up for a prayer meeting. It's come to be a sort of encouragement that means it doesn't matter if no one else bothers to turn up because God is still there with you and you can still pray. Well, I'm sure there is some truth in that. but I think Jesus, Jesus is saying something a bit deeper in this verse. In the previous verses, Jesus has been speaking about how to manage upsets between members of the church, about how to build community and including in those meetings where necessary one or two others to come with you when you go to meet with someone who's upset you so that they can witness to the meeting and perhaps help arbitrate. This context, I think, puts a different light on our verse. It is a reminder that when we are relating to fellow Christians, Jesus is with us in our midst by his Holy Spirit, which both encourages us to treat others with dignity as we would Jesus, and also to celebrate that whenever we meet, even in those circumstances, we can celebrate that God is building us together as a community. So this verse is not an excuse not to bother to meet with others, but an encouragement that when we do meet with sister and brother Christians, we are meeting with Christ and being formed into his body as we support each other, as we are supported by him whether we meet in large groups or in small. At this time, when we are forced the majority of the time to meet in small groups or over technology, it's an encouragement for us to keep meeting. I'm sure this verse applies equally whether we're meeting over Zoom or the telephone or occasionally in person. Let's keep meeting in our small groups, our prayer partnerships, our coffee chats, our phone calls to friends and neighbours, knowing that when we do, Jesus is there meeting with us too. More than ever, we need to know the support of others and of God's Holy Spirit. So let me say that verse again and join in with me if you'd like. Help to remember it, to so let it settle in your heart. Something to hold on to and to encourage us as we go through this time. For where two or three are gathered in my name, I am there among them. Once more. For where two or three are gathered in my name, I am there among them. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, thank you for your promise to be in the midst of us when we meet. Build us in our relationships with each other Bring healing where there has been hurt and strengthen our bonds of fellowship. Form us into the community of your body here on earth. 
be with any who feel lonely or isolated and prompt us to reach out to someone today. Be with us in our meetings, whether in person or via technology. Bless us all with your presence today. Amen. Amen.